Hi, in this video today I'm going to show you how to install the Windows Server Gen 16 on VMware Workstation Pro version 15. Okay, so now let's get started. Okay, and firstly you need to download the ISO file of the Windows uh, Server 2016 from the internet to the Windows PC. Okay, and here you can open you can open browser and access to the Microsoft.com site. And this is the evaluation center site where you can download the evaluation uh, version of the Windows Server for evaluation purpose on the uh, on the PC. Okay, here I select the Windows Server 2016, and of course you can find this link in the description of the of this video. Select ISO and you provide the uh, the information. First name, last name, committee, committer name, com, com, a company name, company size, subtitle, and the most important, in, important thing here you have to provide your working email address in order to get the uh, trial version for evaluation. Okay. After that, you click on continue button here to download the file. And of course, to save the time, I already downloaded the file here. Okay. I copy this part of the file. And open the VMware Workstation uh, Pro version 15 tune on my PC. Click on the file button, and here select a new virtual machine to to create new virtual machine on this PC. Okay. And here, this is a type of configuration on for server, and I have two type typical and the custom. And now I go ahead to select the typical option. Click on next button here. On this step, you have to sp specify lo location to install the Windows version. And here we have three options: installer from disk or DVD, DVD or CD, and from the ISO file. And I will select the install from the. I will install operating system later. On this guest operation system, I select the Microsoft Windows. And the version I will select the. Windows Server 2016. Okay, click on next button. On this step, you have to provide the virtual machine name. By default, it will get the name of the selected version of Windows you want to be installed. Okay, on here you have to specify the disk capacity to install the Windows there. Okay, I will left this one by default. We have single file and multiple file for this information to store the window okay next button okay this is the configuration information of the the server by default created by the VMware tool and otherwise if you want to do some customization you can click on customize hardware button here okay on on this screen you you can adjust the memory for the server Processor as well, okay. And after that, you click on close button here and hit on hit finish button to create new VMware. Okay. And now we have a new VMware with the blank disk. It had been created. You want to do some edit? You can click on edit with the machine setting. Yeah. So here, I'm going to edit the CD and DVD SATA. By default, it will select the physical drive. Okay, and now because we are using the ISO file, so I use I select option number two. I open the ISO file. Okay, click on OK button. Okay, okay. So now we have just finished the configuration for the VMware. So now we start to open the VMware to install the Windows Server. Okay. You have to press any key on the keyboard, otherwise in around uh, five seconds. If you don't press any keyboard uh, on uh, on the keyboard, so it will display message unsuccessfully. Okay, so now here you have to restart it again. Okay, and now press any key uh, on the keyboard. Okay, the window is installing. You can open the full screen mode to view the full screen of the window. 
And here, if you want to exit the full screen mode of the video machine here, you can press the Ctrl and and at the same time to exit it. Okay, this is the window step setup. First step, you can select the language, time and currency format, keyboard as well. I will have it by default for now. Okay. And click on next button here to go to next step. Click on install button now. Setup is starting. Okay. So here you need to select the version you want to be installed on on, on this VMware. Okay. We have two version standards evalu evaluation. This is we don't don't have the graphic user interface for the window. So you have to use the console and command line to access it. Okay. So here we need to in uh, we need to install another version is a standard evaluation for desktop experience. That means we have the window and the have graphic user interface. Okay. Next button here. Okay. So this is the license term. You can read it from the from the beginning at the end. Scroll down to see all of the license. Next button. On this step, we have two options uh, for the installation. The first one is upgrade, the, the second one is custom. The first one, if you select this uh, one, you, you want to be update, uh, upgrade the version. And the second one, you select install link a new version of Windows. Okay. It, the file is copying. It will take some time to finish the installation. Okay, interested is finished, so now we are going to restart the VMware. Okay. It's get, getting device ready. So for the, for the first time, it will need to take some second or some minute to do some pre preparation for the data. Yeah. So here you have to provide the password for the for the admin mean account. So you need to provide the password with some complexity. Otherwise, you cannot create the password for this account. Okay. So here you press the Ctrl and and delete button to get access to the server. Okay. Provide password. Okay. And this is the default desktop of the Windows Server 2016 after install successfully. Okay. And you can see here the the resolution of the desktop it is not displaying fully. So here after we are start after we finish started, we need to install some the VMware workstation tool. It will have to uh, install some the driver for the VMware. Some driver like audio, video, and something like that. We will have to install some of the necessary software for the Windows Server. Okay, close this one and open my computer. <coughs> okay, and here you open the menus, click on VM, and install VMware Tune. Install button. Click click on the notification, 
and you select run setup 64 bit you can also open this pc and see the dvd drive this is vmware tune okay just following some next step here to finish installation for a drive okay the resolution has been adjusted and you can see now here the desktop is displaying fully okay click on the button here to do some restart to apply a new update of the window okay you need to provide password and press the control and delete button on the menus okay yeah okay so now here you have get access into the windows server 2016 standard version and for now the resolution of the window is deploying fully on the server okay I think that's all for today and now after we st started we go through this, this PC and take a look something here and of course I will have some another video later to guide you how to use the windows server okay so here I will shut down this server continue it's shutting down and on of service it turn off okay so i think that's all for today and after you finish with the video you know how to install the windows server 2016 on vmware workstation pro version okay thank you for watching bye bye see you later